Hey, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to take a look at installing Drupal 9 using the Lando project. So Lando is great because it'll orchestrate your Docker containers so you can install Drupal 9 and all its dependencies without actually having to install any of those dependencies on your host system. So if I come over here to my terminal real quick and I take a look and I write PHP, you'll notice that PHP is not currently installed on this computer, neither is Composer. So we don't have any of those dependencies on our host machine, but we can still get them because they're required for the Drupal project and we'll just put them in Lando. So if you come over here to the Lando documentation for Drupal 9, you notice down here that there's this quick start command. So it looks like it gives you all the information you would need to get started with the app. So it has the URL for the latest download so you can get Drupal 9 there. You can specify a web root. So for instance, instead of the dot for the current directory, we could put the word web in there because in a composer-based Drupal project, normally you have your composer-based information like your vendor folder and your composer.lock file outside of the actual Drupal core files, which live inside of a web root called web. And that's where all your modules and themes and things like that live. So it looks like you could just run this Lando init command. And if I were to actually come over here to my terminal and run Lando init, you notice that I can actually just go through and select all the options for those prompts there. I'm gonna get out of that because when I actually do that, it doesn't set up a Drupal Composer project. It will download Drupal and you can set up a Lando project that way, but it doesn't really get us in the exact Drupal Composer specification that I look for in most of my projects. So another option you have over here is on the drupal.org documentation. It talks about installing Drupal with Composer. And if you come down here, you see that the way to do that basically is to do a Composer create project, and then you pass in the Drupal recommended project uh, here, and then you can name your project like this. You could actually also use a legacy version of this if you wanted everything in one doc group, but since we want a Drupal Composer project, this would be the way we'd want to do it. The thing that I don't like about this is it requires us to have Composer on our host system. Now, this is only needed for this initial downloading step, and it's not needed later on because we're going to be running Composer inside of our Lando environment. So unfortunately, we're kind of at a weird spot between these two. This one here doesn't really set up a Drupal Composer project, and this over here requires Composer itself to set it up, and then later we don't need that, so it seems like an unnecessary thing to have installed on our host computer, so I don't like doing that if I can avoid it. A third option here is actually to come and download a template from somebody else. So this project over here is pretty cool. The Drupal Composer project has this scaffolding set up for us that we can actually just come, and we could download this, and we could use this as a starting point for our project, and then we could introduce Lando to it, and from there we could actually start up our project. So let's go and take a look at doing that. I'm gonna do this as user-friendly as I can, so I'm gonna to come to the code section here, and I'm going to press download zip, and then I'll just save this file. And once that's done downloading, I could actually come over here to my downloads, and you see here that we have the Drupal project, and I could extract this by double-clicking on it, and I'll just say extract. And I'll put this in my downloads folder as well. And then we can close out of this. And let's just name this something else. Let's rename this Lando Drupal. And back over here on our terminal, let's go into our downloads and go into the Lando Drupal folder. If we list the files in here, so you'll notice there's not a ton of files in here. There's a composer.json file, which is the instructions for everything we're going to install, and then it has some other dependencies, but there's no web root at this point, and there's no Drupal core installed at this point. So one thing you could do here is do a composer install to install all those dependencies. The downside is that, again, relies on having composer on your host machine. So instead, I'm going to, from here, I'm going to initialize a Lando project. I will start up my containers, and then from there, I will try to run composer install from inside the container. So let's do a Lando init. And since we already have it in the current working directory, we'll choose this first option. And then we'll come down here, we want a recipe for Drupal 9, so I'll come down and select Drupal 9 as the option. And then the web root relative to this destination is going to be web. It doesn't exist yet, but it will soon enough. And then we'll just call this Lando Drupal. And now this is the bit of information that will be added to the beginning of our URL if we're using one of the Lando URLs. So this is all set up. That will create the file, this .lando.yaml file here. And if we were to look at that, you can see here, basically we have a name, we have a recipe, and we have a web root. Okay, we can control quit to get out of that. And now I'll do a Lando start. 
and this will spin up all the containers. And now we're going to have some errors here because we actually don't have our web root set up. So we'll probably get 404s in our actual URLs that get produced, but we can go through that in a second. Now the Drupal 9 recipe for Lando should come with Composer 2 installed by default. So we should be able to use that to install our dependencies and actually get that web root produced. Okay, now that that's set up, you'll notice here that these URLs coming through for the website are highlighted in red. So if we were to control click on one of these, it'll take us to a 404 not found. Okay, so that's kind of what we're expecting here. So there's some issues going on here. Basically what's happening is if we list the files here, you notice we actually don't have a web root here yet. So what we want to do is let's first type in Lando to see what commands are available to us. If I go up here, you notice there's some standard commands like starting and stopping and finding the version. But you also notice here that there's a Lando Composer command. So since we're using the Drupal 9 recipe, it knows we want Composer by default. So we could come in here and do a Lando Composer install and that should run the installation process to actually set up the core files for our project. It should create a web root for us and install the default modules and themes that were needed. So it's downloading all the Drupal dependencies right now. And it's going to create a vendor folder outside of the web root and all the core files inside of the web web root. Okay, that completed successfully. So let's do a list of our files one more time. Now you'll notice here that we have folders like vendor and web. So vendor is all the dependencies that we just installed, these composer dependencies. Web is our actual Drupal project. So if we were to look inside web, you'll see that we have core files and modules and profiles and sites and themes, etc. So at this point, if we were to go back to our browser here and reload this, you notice that we actually have our local host set up here with the installation process. That's because Lando can come back here and it can find this web root now. So it can find this folder here, which is what we specified over here in our .lando.yaml file, a web root here. So now you could basically go through the installation process. We could say English, do a standard install, and the database by default will be called Drupal 9, that's what Lando is looking for, so Drupal 9. The username will be Drupal 9, and the password will be Drupal 9. So keep in mind, this is just used for the local environment. If you're using something in production, you want something a little more secure than that, but we should be able to save and continue. And it looks like we're getting some errors here, so if we come down and look down here, we're failing to actually connect to the database server there. So let's make sure we have these advanced options set up correctly. We have our host down here as localhost. Let's change this to database and let's put in Drupal 9 back up here for the password and let's save this one more time now it's installing your Drupal site this will take a couple minutes if you chose a different profile like the minimal profile it would go a little bit faster than this And now we can come through here and we can set up some site information. So we'll just call this Lando Drupal and we'll say test at example. Normally you'd want to use a real email address for this, but in this case we don't really need to. And I'll say test, password will be test, and I'll confirm that as test. And I'll come down here and we'll just leave these as is and say save and continue. I don't need to save the test test password. And there you have it. You're up and running with a new Drupal 9 website running on Lando. And if you want to power this site down, you could come back over here to your terminal and you could do Lando stop and that will stop your Lando site. If you came back over here and you tried to reload this page, it would go away. And then if you ever want to start it up again, you could just come back here and do a Lando start and be back up and running with the site. Just make sure you're back in the location where you actually saved your site. So go back to wherever you saved it. In this case, we're just in our downloads folder in this folder called Lando Drupal. That allows you to run multiple Drupal sites with Lando on your local computer with different configurations and things like that. You basically go inside the folder for that specific project and run a Lando start and it will remember all the configuration and everything that's needed for those specific containers. Hopefully this helps you get up and running with Drupal 9 using Lando. If you like this kind of content, please stay tuned to our channel for more videos like this in the future. 
Thanks, and we'll see you soon.